Hello, Nomad Sculpt and with version 1.9 there's a new way to create such wrapped handles or bandages yeah, or even spirals. So let's see. Oh, Nomad restarts. So, okay. Yeah, here's um, such an example. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So let's say we have a such a, a X a handle. First, I, I show you the, the yeah the workflow. Okay, so we don't need the end caps at the moment. So for this tube, we need a texture to create uh, the the wraps here around the tube. So I add um, a plane. And this plane I rotate in the front view. So I turn the wireframe on. So this is the topology of the plane. And yeah, we could uh, use a little bit of higher topology. So like this. And I use here at the bottom the solo view. So let's create the texture. So I validate the plane. And I use the cell mask. So I use the rectangular and I I place here a mask and maybe you want stitches or something. So here place your stitches. like this and yeah you can create uh, also other stuff here like this here oh sorry I turn the symmetry off maybe a few dots so you can create here everything you want so the next thing is we need color on this um, we need black and white. So here it's pure black, so paint all. So, sorry. And it's possible to blur the mask. So when you blur it, uh, you get a smoother transition. So, yeah. Or you want sharp lines, then um, use it without blur. And it's possible to blur it also later. So, Maybe we use it with uh, sharp edges. So the mask we can clear now. So y now you see uh, such a black and white pattern. And this pattern we have to bake to a texture. So here in the MISC menu you can bake here the color from itself so just press bake it and now you see here this texture is baked okay at the moment we don't need the plane anymore and we place this texture on the tube now because the tube has now a UV map so yeah okay so the texture you can place here in the material menu on the opacity slot. Use the opacity slot here and place your texture. You find it here in the files section. So files, 
choose the Nomad Sculpt folder and the TMP folder. And here you find your textures. So here you find your, your pattern. So the orientation of the texture is wrong at the moment. So we need um, the scaling much smaller and the rotation. So here you can change the rotation. And you have to, to look for the seam. You see here, this is the seam where the texture yeah, fits together. And so you have to um, change the rotation here till it overlaps. So maybe this position. And yeah, when you change the scaling, So you have to change the, the position here. That the overlap is, yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Maybe like this. This is okay, I think. So here you see now the opacity texture on your tube. And now it's possible to validate the tube. And we need more topology. So let's use linear subdivision and subdivide the mesh. Use a higher poly count. And you can decimate it uh, later, so it's no problem. Then use the MISC menu, and now we need the reprojection. So here in the setting, you can set the um, opacity to mask checkbox, and press reproject from itself. So now the mask is active on this mesh. Here the opacity mask or the opacity texture you don't need anymore. You can um, deselect it. So now you see here there's the mask on the mesh and now it's possible to use the gizmo maybe but the gizmo is not perfect. So you need the inflate scale tool. So press inflate scale tool and pick the mesh and yeah, swipe with a pencil along and then you create such a, a offset. So here you can change the intensity and then you get something like this here. So here with the mask it's also possible to use now a blur so you can blur the mask a little bit and now use the inflate scale like this and now we can clear the mask and maybe use a round all brush so here in the round all brush there's a uh, sometimes um, sticky vertex, you can deselect it. So I think the smoothing is okay. And then you get something like this here. So here it's possible to close the holes in the MISC menu. So then the multi-resolution is lost, but um, so no problem. And in the MISC menu, it's also possible to decimate the whole thing. So our wireframe is, is a high poly mesh, so we can use decimation. So 
when you turn off the wireframe, so it looks like this here. And yeah, now our poly count 55,000 and it looks okay. Okay, so I do another example with um, um, yeah, so such m from a mummy, uh, such bandages. So let's use another tube. So this is a tube and it covers the other tube. So let's use again the, the plane. And here the texture we can delete. And so I paint it completely white and now I use the uh, cell mask again. So and now I paint again black. So I clear the mask and now again the same thing um, you have to bake the texture only the color from itself and then back to the tube so now we place here the texture on the opacity slot files and you find here your texture again in the TMP folder. So let's change the scaling and the rotation. So and watch again the this, this scene. Till it overlaps. So now we have a nice overlap. Again, we can validate the object. I check the wireframe. It's we need a higher poly count, multi-resolution, and so let's subdivide the mesh. So here I think we don't need such a high poly count. And okay, we are fine. In the MISC menu, check opacity to mask and reproject from itself. Again, opacity we don't need anymore. So, and here in the mask settings, so we need a height of zero and we can choose a, a smoothness here. So maybe yeah, the default 10 is okay and then extract the shell so the main tube we don't need anymore and this is the this is a band here and so this. So here you see the other tube inside and let's test it if it works. So we can now use the MISC menu, reproject 
the vertices here and we reproject from high res. So uh, it's not perfect. It's better when the tube is uh, nearby the other tube. So and here sticky vertex is off so with a round all it should work. So you can smooth the, the edges. This example was not perfect, but it works. So here you see the wrappings around. And so these are individual straps, so you can deform it and play with it like you want. Okay, maybe it helps. So have fun with sculpting. Ciao.